Hey, I'm Howard Chui, and here's the Samsung Wave. The Wave runs Bada, Samsung's new smartphone operating system. Check it out. It's got five home screens, similar to Android. It's got widgets, wallpaper, birthday, days. There's also calendar widget, etc. So that button I just pressed brings you to the menu. The menu has multiple screens, which you can scroll between sideways. Now check this out, the email, besides syncing with Just Exchange, you can also sync with Google, Yahoo, Hotmail, IMAP, or Pop. The calendar, the calendar can sync with Exchange or Facebook. One thing I notice about the keyboard in Bada is that it doesn't suck. Check it out. I'm using the keyboard while looking at it through my camcorder's display and it actually works quite well. I mean, yeah, I, I wrote suck wrong, but it's pretty impressive. Here's the calculator. There's navigation, but I can't use that. Here's a daily briefing program. Basically, it brings together info from AccuWeather, Yahoo, and AP News onto one screen. Another pleasant surprise is the browser, which also doesn't suck. So notice the top left, it's connecting to the internet, and now it's downloading the page. And so it's actually pretty fast. Or rather it's not it's not slow. Another pleasant surprise is that it supports pinch zooming, which is also not very slow. Impressive, huh? I didn't show you there, but it also supports tabbed browsing, so you can have multiple windows opened. So you also get FM radio, video recorder, mu video player. Now here's the camera. It's a five megapixel camera with a flash on the back, unlike the Galaxy S. The camera interface is similar to the Galaxy S. It's a Samsung thing. And you can tap to zoom. So I, I'm still used to the Galaxy S where you have to drag and zoom. Here you just tap. And when you switch to camcorder, notice that it records in HD, HD 720p. Neat. Okay, let's check out the device itself. The display is a Super AMOLED display. It looks amazing. It's powered by a 1 gigahertz processor. Okay, on top we have a micro USB and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a lanyard connector. The USB is behind a little door. On the side we have a lock button and camera button. Volume buttons and there's a microphone there. Now the Wave is aimed at the mid-range, it's a mid-range smartphone. So you know, you get the AMOLED display and the one gigahertz processor. You also get a nice metal back. Check out the clang from that battery cover. Now the Galaxy competes in the low to mid-range smartphone market. But here's an, anyways, here's an iPhone 3GS just to give you an idea of the Wave's size. So they're about the same length. The Wave is narrower, and they're actually about the same width, or sorry, thickness. Anyways, that's the Samsung Wave. I'm Howard Choi, and that's my Bada OS overview. Thanks for watching.